All right, welcome back to our studio kitchen on this Food City Friday. Kirby Moyer joining us, talking about, of course, all these great ways to add protein. I'm so glad you're doing this because I feel like a lot of people just constantly look to meat, and that scares me because that's a lot of meat in a diet. It can be a bit alarming. I think when we think about the quality of the meat, what we focus on with high protein specifically is lean sources of protein. And when we lean, yeah, when we say that, what that means, it's going to be lower in total fat and saturated fat. Um, and a hack that I like to teach people, it's a little Love silly, hacks. is count the legs of the animal, right? So fish, it's gonna be your lowest fat, chicken and turkey. Now when it comes to beef and pork, there's still tons of lean options. We typically wanna look for something that says loin, or like when we're selecting ground beef, like we have featured over here, you wanna look for choices that are 90% lean or above typically. Cause these are going to be our most protein rich yeah. foods. Yes. Okay. So where are we starting? Let's start with our taco salad over here. Okay, because, this looks beautiful. Yeah, well, we, we're of course gonna have some bright color in there. You know I still am gonna mention vegetables even when we're talking about protein. Um, so this is gonna be a taco salad featuring Quest protein chips. And these are kind of a, a definitely more of a dieter friendly option because they're a lower carbohydrate, high protein. Ooh. Typical t tortilla chips for a serving would be about 20 grams of protein. These are four grams. And then normal tortilla chips would maybe have one to two Two grams of protein. Mm -hmm. These have 20 grams because they're using a whey protein. Just like we would see from like protein shakes, uh -huh. they've just made that into a chip form. They're delectable, they're delicious, and you can make a taco salad and not feel like you're missing out on that kind of piece of getting a little crunch, a yeah. little a little salt, but it's still going to be uh, paired up with that lean beef there. So this together would be about 40 to 45 <gasps> grams of protein mm. for a meal. That's definitely somebody that's looking for that really high protein diet, quick and easy solution. Which a lot of people are. Yes, yeah. And I love that you got your extra with the chips. Yeah, it doesn't feel like we're missing out. It's not an all or nothing. And of course you could still do tortilla chips, normal ones focusing on the lean beef um, that I mentioned. And I went for a 93% lean. So when you see that percentage, what that means is 93% of that volume is from protein. And when we see 80 or 20, we recognize 80% of that volume is coming from protein. So you'll get actually less protein per serving when you're doing those kind of higher fat cuts of meat. Okay. I know it's a bit confusing, but. <laughs> no, I'm staying with you. I'm staying there though. I'm gonna take notes. I'm gonna go back there and rewatch it. And then something over here, these are, these look delicious. Yeah, so I did a quick, it's summertime. We want something light and refreshing. So some lettuce wraps and Food City, of course, has such great seafood. You can either get the mm. pre-steamed shrimp, which is gonna take out all of the work for you. I chose to saute these with a little bit of hot sauce, like in a little spicy. Nice. Some summertime corn, a little bit of pepper and onion in there. And then shrimp is going to be one of our lowest fat in the seafood department. It is just basically pure protein. So that's a oh. quick and easy choice. Really, really versatile as well. That is good to know. Yeah. And when we think about it again, Chris mentioned earlier, animal sources are going to be the highest quality protein that we see in our diet, but you can still sneak in some extra protein from those other sources we mentioned earlier. Um, and again, that hack to remember, I want to focus on leaner proteins first. You're going to get more protein in your diet. It's going to be more beneficial for your heart health and your total health as well. See, I love that. We can get creative. And this in no here, I love how you use the vegetables with it. You've got the fresh corn, because of course we were just talking about farmers markets and all that great stuff and you guys have so many wonderful farms that you support oh yes and at this time of year I know I'm I'm kind of holding off because next week we're gonna be at the farmers I market know. together I wanted to talk more about local growers today I'm like I'm gonna build it up for next week but yes another part of protein when we think about um, where calories come from our diet mm -hmm. it's either protein carbohydrates or fat so as protein goes up, traditionally, I recommend people not lose sight of getting those healthy carbs from fruits and vegetables. So we'll notice today we still had a good variety of that on our plate. See, so if you just make Kirby's recipes, you know you're like covering all your bases and you're doing it in ways that aren't gonna affect other parts of your health either. Yeah, we're getting all of our nutrients in, yes. Everybody's happy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and she sent all of these recipes, so we will post them with the segment coming up later today, so you can find that on our website at wjhl.com. For more information and other tips, always visit foodcity.com slash pickwell. Lots of great ideas from dietitians like Kirby. We'll be right back.